So, you created a mess. What do you do? Keep watching this video. Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy back with another video to help you to live the dream and make a profitable living doing what you love. And in today's video, I thought I would expand and expound upon what you do whenever you make a mess. Maybe you uh, didn't get the job that you wanted. Maybe you have a job that you want, but there's some situation that's causing you a bunch of pain and discomfort there. Maybe your health isn't going the way you want. Maybe your marriage isn't. Maybe your business is failing. Whatever your issues, perceptively big or small, this video is gonna help you to figure out exactly what to do so that you don't have to experience that pain anymore and that so you can more quickly get over to a place where you are happy, closer to pleasure, and where those problems just don't exist. So I'm human, just like all of you guys watching this video, and just like anybody else, I experience situations in my life that are not ideal and that I want to fix. Chances are you do too, and that's why you're watching this video. So. If you have created a mess in your life, a sticky situation of sorts, the first thing I need for you to do to really, really ponder and think about is to accept the simple fact that it's of your creation. A few of you are watching this right now and thinking, Jeremy, no, it's not. And even for those situations, I want for you to own your life in your situation in such a way that it gives you the power back and it's necessary in that process then for you to accept ownership of the situation that you got yourself into. So even if you think that this is not something that is your fault, I want for you to be a person of not only, I was gonna say integrity, but I want you to be a person of that takes charge. And in order to be that person, you have to take ownership of what's going on in your life right now. So you gotta accept it, number one. You have to accept that that is your problem and that you know, you're here watching this, you're probably determined already to get out of it. So number one, accept that it is your problem. The second thing I need for you to be thinking about, and this could take some time for you to understand, and this is something that I'm learning right now and that I'm implementing right now, and it's that understanding in the grand scheme of things that there is no size difference between problems. There are no big problems and small problems. There are only problems and the feeling of discomfort that it brings to you. When you think down to the cells in your body or to the planets in this beautiful solar system or to this galaxy, you can see the size scale there and you can see that, you know, depending on your belief or what you understand, that the creator doesn't know the difference between those size. And so any problem to you, for you to the creator is does not have size, okay? There's no size difference. There's no, there's no levels to it in terms of problems. There are just, uh, it's just good or bad, so to say. I'm telling you that because I wanna put your problem in perspective because maybe you're experiencing a breakup, maybe you're experiencing some depression or pain, you got to kind of zoom out and get out of your skin sometimes, out of, your, out of your yourself to really look at that problem to accept it for what it's worth. And so I want for you to right now just understand that whatever problem you're experiencing, that you are putting a measure of size on it and you are putting that judgment on it. And those things just aren't necessarily true. A problem that you're experiencing right now could be something that I laugh at and that holds no water for me. And a problem that I'm experiencing, you might laugh at, it might hold no water or truth for you. And so that's a sort of perspective that I'm wanting to bring to you, all right? Uh, at, at least in this first part of here is, number one, accepting ownership for whatever situation that you're in. And number two, accepting that there is no size of problems. You are judging the problem, you are putting the weight and you are putting the baggage there. And you're creating a kind of importance there. You're creating significance there. And so I want to help you to minimize that significance importance by accepting the fact that uh, even the smallest problem is the same in comparison. It's no bigger, it's no smaller. So now that you have taken ownership and now that you've put your problem into perspective in that it, it's a problem for what it's worth, but you're adding that meaning to it. And in comparison to all other problems, maybe it isn't so big or small. And in the really grand scheme, there isn't a size of problems. There just is. So now that you've done that, now let's give you some tactical things to start doing in this process of getting out of your bad situation and any bad situation that you may be having. And a lot of the advice and the counsel that I'm gonna provide for you are things that I am actively learning and implementing every single day. Um, this has been a, a journey of mine in, in self-development and self-help that I've gone through and it's been a, quite a spiritual journey as well. But 
Most of the advice I'm gonna give you guys today can be summed up and found in a book called Reality Transurfing. And so if you go to my channel, you'll see a video, it's called First Look, and there's a couple others now and many more getting added after a bunch of feedback from you guys. Reality Transurfing is a book that is very similar to the law of attraction, but it gives you very fine steps to take in order to create any reality in which you, that you wish to exist in. The reality that you're in, let's take a, a quick look at it right now. The reality that you're in is not one that you want to be in. It, in fact, might lack color right now, so to say, because you're not happy with it. It might lack smell and taste, and you might be super down about yourself. That's, that's fine. It's okay to be there as long as you're working on getting out. And if that is the case, there are many other parallel realities that taste, color, smell, happiness, and all the attributes you are wanting are there. Let's talk about getting over there. What does that look like? What does that take? Well, the first thing that you really have to think about is what is the ideal situation that you want? If you're in a breakup right now and you want to get back with that person, you might think, okay, I want to be back in a relationship with that person. Simply enough. Maybe you lost a bunch of money in business and um, you have to sell off all of your things. Well, maybe the reality that you want is a reality where money is taken care of and that you are happy. Maybe you are in a in a job that you love, but the people there just give you hell and they aren't very nice to you. Well, your reality might be one where you walk in and everyone says hi, respects you, uh, looks up to you, and maybe even goes to you for counsel or to confide in. Whatever that situation, I need for you to, to look at the bad situation you're in and basically create the exact opposite and the, the more pleasurable version of it. So what it is that you're wanting, Sky is the limit here. There is no size to the creator for what you're wanting, just like your problems. So right now is the time to have some fun. What is the ideal situation that you want? Maybe you're single and you want to have a significant other. Well, what would that reality look like? And what would it look like from your own perspective? Not from the outside like you're watching a movie, but like you're the character in the movie looking out into the world. What are you experiencing and what does that look like? I need you to get so fine in detail that you could rattle details off of it out without even thinking about it. You can write it down, you can paint it, you can take a picture, you can do whatever you want, all right? But you need to know what you're wanting. Now that you have exactly what you're wanting, in reality transurfing terms, they would call this the target slide. It's a slide that you can resort to running in your mind throughout your day, and it's kind of a visualization, a, a, a clip of sorts, if it's stored in your mind that you run, again, from your own perspective, not looking at yourself, looking from the experience that you have right now, the point of view. So you create your target slide. Now that you have that, we're gonna box it up and we're gonna set that aside. Now that you have the ideal reality that you're wanting to live in, even if, it's, if it feels far from where you're at, the next thing that you are going to do is you're going to accept failure. And this might sound a little weird, but what you're doing in this process is lowering that significance and the importance that this holds for you. Because anytime that is something is important to you or holds significance, you are going to start acting very strangely when those events start happening. Maybe you are wanting success with the opposite sex. Anytime you go up and talk to them, you're gonna get nervous. If you're making it a big deal, if you're making this whole getting back together thing with your girlfriend a big deal, they're gonna sense it. The world is gonna sense it. The universe is gonna sense it. If you're at work and you're walking in and you're worried about what everyone's gonna say, you're probably gonna be timid. You're probably not gonna make eye contact. You're gonna let people run all over you. You're gonna give people the opportunity to run all over you whenever it's significant. So that's why we accept failure. We say, you know what? I wanna get back with that person but if it doesn't work out, it's cool. There's more fish in the sea. Or you know what? I really want people at work to like me, but you know, sometimes humans can be humans. And so, you know, worst case scenario, they, uh, they, get, they get worse. Okay, whatever, I go get a new job. Um, and that kind of gets us in the second, uh, the, the next step of this a little bit. Um, maybe you lost a bunch of money in business. I want for you to accept that you might always be stuck in that position. Look around, just take a look at me. You, you know what, it's not that bad. I could, you know, move back in mom and dad. I could go, I can go get the, whatever it is. You accept failure in that process, okay? What you also do, and these kind of go hand in hand, is you create a plan B. So in that scenario, you say, uh, I lost a bunch of money in business. I'm selling my home. Maybe a friend will let me live with them. Or I'm going to go, you know, live back where I was living before. Or I'm going to go see if my, you know, my parents, they love me. They'll take me back in and, and I can do that. Cool. So I accept failure and now I have a plan B. Plan B for the job situation might be, hey, I, they may not like me. My plan B is I'm gonna go get another job like I mentioned. Or uh, there's more fish in the sea or there's this other you know, attractive person that I'm gonna find or that I know already and I'll, I'll talk to them. Or I'll go and see you know, if, if they are as cool as I think they are. So you create a visualization for what you want. 
you accept failure that, that thing may never happen and that lowers the importance and you create a plan B that also lowers that importance and that significance. So it's not something that is making you nervous as you're going about your day and that causes for you to make even more of a mess in front of you. Now, the only thing that you have to do throughout your day is be resorting to that target slide, that clip you have in your mind that is like a 30 to 60 second long movie clip of that reality that you're wanting, that target that you're wanting and you existing in it. So at a high level with any bad situation that you're in, you're going to number one, you're going to create a target slide that, it, that has a reality and the attributes of which the world you're wanting to experience. Number two, you accept failure. You say, Hey, that might not ever happen. All right, whatever. Third, you create a plan B, a safety net for yourself. So even as you're going after it, you know that you can always go back and live with mom and dad. You can always go get another job. You can always do this other thing just in case. And lastly, you're getting in the habit now of running your target slide. Reality Transurfing recommends about 45 minutes every day of running your slide, which might sound like a lot of time. For me, I'm about 15 to 20 minutes every single day. I have the habit of it. I do, I just do it after I have my other habits. So it just keeps on going. I wanna know from you, did this make any sense? Did this help you? Does this, do you feel some faith now in having a process that you can use to manifest the reality that you're wanting and to get out of the sticky situation that you're in? I want to know, and I want your uncanny and honest feedback in the comments below. I wouldn't expect anything less. Hey, if you like this and you want to be around others who are creating their dream reality and going and living that dream and making a profitable living doing what they love, well, we'd love to have you over. So head up to whatupjeremy.com slash subscribe. I send out updates, things that don't go out here on YouTube or Instagram TV or other platforms. I share intimate details of my life and the things I'm going through, and I share them exclusively with my newsletter subscribers. And I'd love to have you over there, and I think you'd love the people who are on that list as well because they're movers and shakers, and they're out here trying to get into that dream reality just like you are right now. Hey, if you like this, then be sure to subscribe right here. And here are two other videos on reality transurfing that can help you out. Be sure to go and watch those right now. Leave a heart and a comment if you came from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm Jeremy Montoya. Cheers.